Yeah. Three, two, one, action. Nice. All right. Hey, ACC. It's John Montez here with my helpers, Miles, also known as MJ, and Oliver, also known as... Ollie. Yep, Ollie. And we're here for another Rizu Kids video session. It's going to be our last video before summer break. And then we'll give everybody, all our awesome volunteers, a couple months off to uh, recharge their batteries, uh, go on vacation, and hang out with their kiddos. Right? Mm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So last week we got to learn about the Holy Spirit and how it came down at Pentecost on Peter and the disciples. And they started talking in tongues and people thought they were crazy or drinking at 9 o'clock in the morning. But we realized, no, their life has just been changed by the power of the Holy Spirit. This week, we get to learn about the lame beggar and how he was healed. It's a pretty cool story, not too long. You can find it in Acts chapter two, which is right after the book of John and right before Romans, in case you're trying to find it. So Miles and Oliver have theirs out, right? <laughs> All right, memory verse comes from Colossians chapter three, Starting in verse 2. You got it, Miles? I'm just okay. to You got it? All right. You guys ready? You guys can repeat after me. Set your minds on things above. Set your minds on things above. Not on earthly things. Not on earthly things. For you died. For you died. And your life. And your life. Is now hidden. Is now hidden. With Christ in God. With Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life. When Christ. In your life. <laughs> appears. Appears. Then you. Then you. Also will. Also will. Appear with him. Appear with him. In glory. In glory. All right. What awesome news. So memory verse, it's, they're getting shorter, which is great. I hope you guys are uh, making progress on that, and that's a really good one. Uh, so today's story kind of picks up after uh, the arrival of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> and we're going to be picking up uh, in Jerusalem, where we had a lame beggar. Uh, to be lame means you can't use your legs, and to beg means you have to ask other people for money and food because you can't provide for yourself. And back in the day... Uh, if you couldn't work, it was very difficult to get money, and if you didn't have any money, you couldn't buy any food. So we're going to jump into our story uh, with the lame beggar, and then uh, we've got a mission of our own after this to celebrate our uh, summer break coming up, and maybe you guys will get to come along. Now Peter and John were just walking along. They were good friends. They had known Jesus together. They had seen the Holy Spirit come together. So Peter and John were walking to the temple around 3 p.m. when they do their normal prayer. Just kind of talking <clears throat> and not really knowing what to expect, you know, a normal day. Now there was a beggar who's been laying at the temple gate for a pretty long time. He couldn't use his legs. He was lame. And so every day he would hold out his jar and beg for money or food or whatever he could get. And he's been there for a long time. Now Mark and John started to walk over to the temple gate. Like I said, it was around 3 o'clock. And uh, as they got closer, they looked for the signs. Oh, yep, temple to the right. You guys see the next sign? Oh, temple to the left. And they started to walk to the temple gate. Can I get some money? Got any money? Lame beggar here. Can I get some money? <laughs> money? Look at me. Yeah? Silver, you got some money? Silver or gold, I do not have. Silver or gold, you do not have. Okay. Well, what do you have? In the name of Jesus, walk. Oh, I can walk. Wow. Well, where were you guys going? To the temple? Let's go to the temple. What do you guys do at the temple? Adam. Who's this Jesus guy? So... The lame beggar, John and Peter, went to the temple. And they worshiped God, right? They prayed and they sang and they prayed and they sang. 
and they said, wow, Jesus, you are awesome. All right, now we're doing some videotape driving here for our uh, second half of the Razoo Kids video. And uh, we're gonna have a short driving interview with our two uh, main characters back here, um, which is Peter, also known as Miles, or Miles, also known as Peter, and Oliver, also known as uh, our camera guy, and John. John. So, uh, I think we probably skipped over some details of that story, uh, but one important detail of that story was that that lame beggar sat there year in and year out begging for money, and he was totally hopeless. He had no hope whatsoever. Uh, um, he was by that gate, the gate that was called Beautiful, Papa, and I think that was one of the most popular gates. Close to the construction? Uh, yeah, that's fine, buddy. Um, I think that was one of the more popular gates, so a lot of people passed by that gate, uh, and nobody had been able to help him up to that point um, until Peter and John had come by. Now, question for you guys. Was it... Peter, who healed him and allowed him to walk? What do you yes, guys think? Me. Well, Miles did. Okay. Well, okay, so we've got one vote for Miles did it. Uh, what do you think, Ollie? Was it Peter who healed the lame beggar? Peter. Or was it Peter's faith that healed the lame beggar? Peter's faith. What do you think, Miles? Peter. You think it was Peter, not Peter's faith? No, I think he Okay, that's right. It was Peter and John's faith in Jesus. We can't get any closer because we have to turn around. That's right. Well, we can take the detour. It was Peter and John's faith in Jesus that healed him. That's right. That's an important distinction. Um, okay, well, we'll keep going on our, uh, our not as cool as Mark's mission uh, from last week, but still fun. And uh, we'll check back in with you here in a second. Miles, what did we get for our end of Razoo Kid celebration? Jimmy, Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's. What did we get? Jimmy John's. Yeah, we're gonna eat Jimmy John's to celebrate the end of our school year and the beginning of the summer. Thanks, Holly. And uh, I don't know if you guys like Jimmy John's as much as we do, but. Uh, We'll be back with you after we're done, and uh, we can talk about the Razoo Kids video then. So, Ollie, what was your favorite part about the Razoo Kids story? About holding the camera. Okay. And Miles, what was your favorite part? My favorite part was getting. My favorite part was saying, "So look at me." Yeah. Now I have a question for you. Did you like using your legs to get up there onto that? piece of concrete? Yes. Can you imagine what it would be like if you couldn't use your legs? Yeah. Do you think you would have been able to get up there? No. No. Now doesn't that make that story that much more awesome? That yeah. Jesus, through Peter, healed that guy who couldn't walk and now he can walk? That changed his whole life. Making chit chat, talking about you know the Sounders and Seahawks and oh, you guys are going the wrong way. Remember, we're supposed to go through here. Oh, punch out now. <laughs> are you? Is it pointing at me? <laughs> okay, you can push the red button on the top. Uh, <laughs> on the top. That one. Yeah, Ollie. I hope you're videotaping your brother. Are you looking at your brother? <laughs> I get some money. <laughs> Ollie, you're. <laughs> no. you, Ollie's pointing at the camera the wrong direction. You gotta turn it around, Ollie. Yeah, you gotta stroll. Hey, Ollie, you gotta turn that around. <laughs> Why aren't you videotaping this? Well, where were you guys going? To the temple? Oh, Ollie, let's, come on, buddy, what are you doing? You're putting the camera on the ground. Come over here. <laughs> Do your worship stuff. No. <laughs> okay. Turn it on. <laughs> that one? Not quite. <laughs> because we're we're in Anacortes. 
Now I'd like to preface this video by saying this is not a paid advertisement for Jimmy John's LLC. Or Jimmy John's now I have a question for you guys. Are you ready? What did you guys learn from today's story? 